fourth well taught us on the stage six. Miller Connor from Australia joined the breakaway in today's hilly stage. He went on to win the stage win as well as assume the race lead with almost five minutes over former Red Jersey wearer Primat Roglic. A day where the breakaway was likely to win, 30 riders went off the peloton early in the day before the first big climb, but eventually on the ascent several GC riders looked to bridge across and with them came a fast-moving peloton. Eventually a quality group went up the road featuring threats to the GC mainly in O'Connor and Lebowitz. But the latter didn't look to chase hard so as to help his ambitions. The teams in reality didn't control the gap. O'Connor was keen on attacking from the front group early on and with 62 kilometers to go he moved off the front of the group with Guy Sleen Ray Ives. The duo collaborated, but the difference in climbing quality was big, and on the penultimate climb of the day, the decathlon AG2 Arlo Mondiale rider went solo off the front of the race. In the corner for this year's Giro de Palia was in for a massive day. Although there wasn't a full-on chase in the peloton, the Australian kept increasing his gap throughout many kilometers, including the final hilltop finish in Yungra. He took the stage win in glory, and with it also the red jersey. The peloton were six minutes back. Marco Frigo and Florian Lipowitz were second and third on the stage. Thanks, legends, and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Subscribe, share, like, and vote in the community polls. Mac